info, we've got the uh, camera point of the tropical fish, we've got two laptops with modulate, and we've got whatever that happens to be on the TV at the time. And of course we've got the Vixid. So uh, here's the inputs at the back. We can select an input just by the touch of a button. So let's do something interesting with the Vixid logo. We'll uh, apply a few effects to it in Modulate. We've whacked up the contrast and use the auto scale and the auto rotate. We're going to feed this straight into the Vixid. We can select the overlay mode until we find something that we really like the look of. And there you go, what client wouldn't be delighted with that? We can also blend in the underlying layers, either using the modes, all the gains, or the levels on the faders. So uh, quite a lot of versatility here. Going back to the fish, let's have a look at some of the effects on this. We've got this block move. So anything in the video that's moving gets broken down into blocks. And the more we turn this up, the, uh, the more processor intensive it is, and it does tend to slow things down a little bit if you turn it up full. It's quite an interesting effect myself, I do like it. So let's look at the Luma key. Here we're taking out the black on this layer, and we get pretty accurate control. It's just as much control as you would in, a, in an editing application, really, and we can, we can turn the sensitivity down until we get exactly the level that we want. Exactly the same with the uh, color key which selects an exact colour uh, at the exclusion of all others, which is very handy. We can specify exactly what colour we want with the pick mechanism. In, in this example, we're picking out the green on the green screen. And as you can see, it's very, very accurate. So we're getting this horrible halo around the girl. But of course, that's going to vanish as soon as we move over into the chroma key. Now, I deliberately picked this because uh, if you read any advice on color keying, it'll say avoid fuzzy hair and avoid reflective objects and avoid dark skin because you get these horrible green um, reflections and it's very, very difficult to key. But as you can see, we've done a pretty good job here and uh, I'm quite happy with the real-time keying in, in the Vixen. And there you go, some uh, impressive footage pretty much out of fresh air. You could say that uh, you could do all this in software, but of course, uh, not in real time. And that's the real advantage of this. If you're in a live situation, you can do some cracking effects with your live cameras and it's just seamless.